In this video, we'll learn about composite functions, and we'll look at them through formulas and also with tables. So what is a composite function? Well, a composite function is built out of two other functions. So if I were to give you, for example, a function f of x equals x squared minus 3x plus 1, and another function g of x, which is 2x plus 5, then there are a lot of ways that I can build new functions out of these two functions. I could add them together, I could multiply them, I could divide them, and so on. But I want to build a new function doing something different. What I want to do is I want to build a new function by taking f and plugging into it the function g. So f of g of x. And that's what we call a composite function. And we actually have a special notation for it. We're going to write this as f and then a little circle g of x. So that little circle there, we read as composed with. So it's not multiply, it's not add, it's some new operation. And the operation is what we call composition. So f composed with g is f of g of x. So what does that actually work out to be? Well, that's f of g of x is 2x plus 5. So remember how this works. Everywhere I see an x in the definition of f, so this x here and this x here, I'm going to replace those with 2x plus 5. So I'm going to get 2x plus 5 quantity squared minus 3 times the quantity 2x plus 5 and then plus 1. And when I work all that out, I've got a bunch of algebra to do there to simplify that, and that's going to work out to be 4x squared plus 14x plus 11. So that's a brand new function that I built out of f and g. Now, an important thing to keep in mind here is that the order matters. Something else that I could build is g composed with f. Again, that little circle there means composed with, but I'm doing it in a different order now. So we know that when we multiply two things, the order doesn't matter. When we add, the order doesn't matter. But when we compose, it turns out the order does often matter. Here we have g of f of x. That's g of f of x is x squared minus 3x plus 1. And so that's 2 times x squared minus 3x plus 1 plus 5. And you might already be able to tell that this is not going to work out to be 4x squared plus 14x plus 11. And in fact, when we work all this out, it works out to be 2x squared minus 6x plus 7. So, perfectly fine function, but it's a different function than what we get when we compose the functions in the other order. So, important thing to keep in mind when composing functions is order matters. Now, we know that a formula is not the only way to think of a function. Here we have two functions given by tables of values. So, how do we figure out what f composed with g of 1 is for this first problem? Well, remember that what that means is f of g of 1. And once we realize that, now all we have to do is start looking things up in our table. What's g of 1? Well, g of 1 is 0. And so this is really just f of 0. And f of 0 is negative 1. That's it. All right, let's do part b real quick. g composed with f of negative 1. That's g of f of negative 1. What's f of negative 1? Well, f of negative 1 is negative 3. So this is g of negative 3. And then g of negative 3, what's that? Well, that's 8. And so that's our answer.